Now the relief operation continues four days after a killer earthquake and tsunami flattened much of Japan's northeast coast. Police say that the official death toll has hit 2,400, but with thousands more missing, authorities fear that the figure may exceed 10,000. Vast areas in Japan have been left unrecognizable by the devastation. The town of Iwanuma in Miyagi Prefecture took the full force of the tsunami. Some have returned home to look for their loved ones, but hopes are fading fast. A south of Sendai, near the epicenter of the quake, the village of Fujitsuka remains underwater. Rescue workers say it will be hard to find bodies in the floodwaters left behind by the tsunami. Millions are spending a fourth night without water, food, electricity or gas. More than half a million people have been left homeless. But there are also tales of hope amid the devastation. 52-year-old Mitsuka Kimisawa wasn't home when the earthquake hit, but she rushed home to bring her 17-year-old son to safety. The tsunami swept through town just as she reached her house. Her son said he was shooting footage of the wave from the balcony as the wall of water approached, but quickly dashed inside as the wave crashed against the house. Their house was not washed away and they spent the night trapped inside. Mitsuko said she's thankful to have made it out alive. Thousands of others in the tsunami's path did not survive. We spoke with Casey Kalamusa of World Vision, that's an organization that helps with relief efforts on the ground. And Mr. Kalamusa tells us what some of the more important basic necessities that are urgently needed in the country. One of the things World Vision's um, assessment team found is that the, the things most, most needed right now are things like bottled water, blankets because it's very cold and there's no power. Um, most of the people are staying in, have been evacuated into local community centers. Um, we're also providing powdered milk and diapers for babies because babies are especially vulnerable at this time, um, especially out in the cold and in the elements. Our staff who were in Sendai visited one of the community evacuation centers last night and said children were sleeping um, on nothing but a cardboard piece of cardboard laid out on the ground. World Vision is preparing its staff members in Japan to travel to areas affected by the devastating earthquake and tsunami. Mr. Kalamusa explains that coordination is key. World Vision is coordinating closely with them and with local authorities and other organizations as well. Um, coordination is extremely important in a disaster response of this magnitude because you don't want to be duplicating efforts and you want to uh, make sure that you're reaching as many people as possible um, and be as, being as effective as possible. So that's one of the things World Vision is focused on right now.